Glory to God. My dear brothers and sisters, I have a word of direction for you. Every day I release these words. It is important that you get connected. That you get connected to this platform. Also, I encourage you to leave your comments, your prayer requests. Remember, you can always send me your prayer request through my email address. My email is in the about section. You will find my emails and details that pertain this ministry. Now, my brothers and sisters, the word that I have for you is you cannot go with them to where God is taking you. This is a powerful word for someone. Some of you have been confused whether you should take this, you should go with this, you should accept this person, you should uh, allow this person to um, know more about you. But the word I have for you, you cannot go with them to where God is taking you. Some of you, you are family deliverers. Some of you, God has, is raising you up as deliverers of your nation, deliverers of that community. Some of you, you are so powerful. But for you to walk into that destiny, for you to reach that destination, there are some things that you have to leave behind. Some uh, behaviors that you have to leave behind. Because if you go with those things, they are going to be a snare to you. They are going to be a hindrance to you. They will drag you down in other words. They will slow down your progress. That is why some of you, you feel like you are not moving in life. Because there are some things that you are still holding on to. It is not those things, it's not like those things are holding on to you. But you rather are holding on to them. And some of you, you know exactly what I'm speaking about. That there are some things that you have in your, that you do in your life. That you actually know that if you let go of this thing, God will use you mightily. You actually know it. That this thing is slowing me down. I pray for you. That God gives you the strength to let go of that thing. I pray for you that God gives you the strength to make wise decisions. That you are prudent in whatever you do. You see, I love Solomon, King Solomon. That when God appeared to him in a dream, he asked for wisdom. And God granted it to him. That with wisdom, Solomon was able to judge righteously. That even when two women were fighting again, uh, uh, were fighting for a baby, Solomon was able to give a wise decision to an extent that the queen of Sheba came to see the king Solomon. Solomon was so wise that even his enemies would ask for advice. Can you imagine what kind of wisdom is that? That your enemies will come and ask for solutions. That your enemies become even friends to you. That is pure wisdom. The wisdom of God. So my brothers and sisters, if you want to get all these things, the benefits of God. You have to let go of some things. If you want to get the blessing, there are some things that you have to let go. Scripture says it clear. That the blessing of God maketh rich. And addeth no sorrow. If God has truly blessed you, it will make you rich and it will add no sorrow to you. I'll give you an example. Abraham, when God was getting ready to bless him, God told him, God told him to leave his father's house. And to go to a land that God was to show him. He was told to leave his father's house. Not that his father was bad. No, 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 no. Not that his father was wicked or evil. No. It was just because it was time to leave. Sometimes you 
are told to leave that group of people, not because they are bad to you. It's not just, it's because the, your story, their story in your life has come to an end. So you have to leave. And when Abraham left, his name was changed from Abraham to Abraham. Brothers and sisters, some people will drag you down if you continue being with them. There are some people you were never supposed to invite in your life. You were never supposed to open the door for them. The moment you, actually some of you know it, the moment you met that person, your life became a mess. Your life started going down. Your finances started going. The moment you started talking to that person, the moment you got into a relationship with that person, this person and the other person, things started not working out. You used to be good. You were progressing. You were doing good things. You were doing exploits in the kingdom of God. You were, you, I mean, you're doing exploits for the kingdom of God. But the moment you got into a relationship with that person, the moment you got to know them, the moment you got that job, you no longer pray. You no longer have the desire for the things of God. Your spiritual life went down. It is because of the wrong people that you entertained. My brothers and sisters, it is time to move on. It is time to leave them behind if you really want to be used by God. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of this world. I hope it has been a blessing to you. I hope it has encouraged you. Remember to leave your comments in the comment section. And also, you can follow me on my Facebook page where I release words of encouragement. Brothers and sisters, until next time, God bless you.